yes the big squid so this is an interesting one um I guess you've all seen this this has been big in the news this week that um in Noto Peninsula on the west coast of Japan a beautiful part of Japan I've never been to it but I've heard wonderful things it's a place I've heard of people going to work and, and staying there and never coming you know never coming back to Tokyo um yeah the government has been giving a lot of uh taxpayer support money to all these sort of towns partly for different purposes right there's there's taxpayer funding to support the vaccination rollout to set up facilities to pay doctors and whatever bonuses to have the doctors work on weekends and uh, late hours to administer vaccines um, there's also money that's been given out by the government to pay uh, for example when you have to have lockdowns to pay businesses compensation for closing and so on as well as general economic stimulus there's been money paid for prefectures to be able to invest in um, you know reboosting the economy that sort of suffered um, you know for after its decline so there's a lot of money being spent uh, well there's a lot of different types of COVID money that's being given from the national government to different regional governments to be able to spend uh, for different purposes for economic revitalization for uh for managing lockdowns as well as for supporting actual medical treatment and vaccinations um so yes to, to hear that um the town of noto um took the uh two hundred and thirty thousand dollars uh or, or, or took two hundred and thirty thousand dollars of uh, national taxpayer money and made a big squid statue with it um superficially and and i reacted uh annoyed at this myself um this story came up at a time that Osaka was basically unable to um, well after a couple of stories I talked about the other week how in um, Tokyo because COVID is resulting in hospitals private hospitals being unable to take elective surgeries that are where they get most of their income for as businesses it's causing hospitals to suffer as businesses and as a result when they cut when, when, when the Tokyo Women's Medical uh, University Hospital um, cut bonuses to all doctors in their hospital a hundred doctors quit on mass uh, because they were being worked to death um, supporting coronavirus and they were actually getting massive pay cuts for doing it um, so you've got doctors and nurses are uh, burning out and uh, quitting for being underpaid in Tokyo in Osaka you had a situation while this was happening where actually um, the hospitals were above 100 percent capacity they were no longer able to accept patients and there was a situation in Osaka where basically if you are over 80 years old um, hospitals were just deciding not to take you anymore and so these sort of situations which happen even outside of COVID where hospitals in Japan are not required to accept the nearest you know when you're in an ambulance a lot of countries have systems that the nearest hospital has to accept patients uh, emergency patients but in Japan hospitals can turn them down and particularly given that so many hospitals here are private it's pretty common that uh, hospital you know, ambulances will drive around for hours looking for hospitals that will accept emergency like ambulance patients um, this happens even in the best of times but with COVID and particularly the number of hospitals that don't have the ability to, to treat COVID patients or that just don't want to treat COVID patients because they're worried about their bottom line uh, and being unable to do sort of you know cosmetic and elective surgeries um, yeah you have they've had the situation in Osaka where the beds have been full and you know basically the medical system there has collapsed and so here at the same time as the Osaka medical system is collapsing due to lack of resources and Noto is taking COVID money and spending it on a squid I myself got pretty upset and, and it's uh, I, I ranted a little bit on Twitter myself that this is kind of typical of and this overall thing is okay if we weren't in a desperate situation with COVID which we definitely are in Osaka and, and, and nationwide it's a it's a tough tense situation um, there is a, an overall problem here which this kind of just symbolizes in a way that really annoys me which is that votes in places like Osaka and Nagoya and Tokyo the urban centers the densely populated areas uh, we have very little political representation uh, for our population and for our tax contribution and economic output and because most of parliament and this is true of a lot of countries but it's very true of Japan because most of parliament are represented are representatives who, who are elected from very small rural areas that have equal representation to very large areas like Tokyo um, they go to, they go into the national parliament with this idea that their job is to get as much money for their hometowns as possible to boost the, the local economies and this feeds into the idea that um, it's part of the, a priority for government to for to make sure that rural areas are not left behind uh, from the wealth being generated by cities and to redistribute wealth and there's some fairness to that but at the same time part, part of the reason that that happens is simply because um, 
from the perspective of an urban taxpayer like myself, the rural politicians are basically looting the tax coffers uh, from the underrepresented cities uh, where, you know, we need money for certain things and, and it's being disproportionately taken away for frivolous public works constructions um, to generate jobs and win votes in, in rural areas that don't need it as much. And you take Norto, for example, that, that prefecture has far fewer COVID cases. It needs less support. You have desperate situations in the cities, yet money is being taken from the cities through the national tax coffers and is being given to them for economic stimulus, which they're, you know, building on, which they're spending on squids. So for me, I, I went into a little bit of a rant how it represents the sort of money politics and the whole structure of how cities are just screwed over in Japan and taxpayers who live in cities are screwed over. And it's all basically a kind of a corrupt system to boost. And this is kind of the most perverse way where, you know, the, where, where money could be better spent on saving lives in cities. That said, this money that was spent on this uh, statue was specifically for economic stimulus. Uh, Noto benefits is, is a big squid town, <laughs> obviously. Um, and they uh, benefit a lot from tourism, from people from places like Tokyo to go and visit them. And that's how they make a lot of money. And they've had all of that money stop because of the, 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 the pandemic. And so they were investing in creating attractions to draw attention and uh, encourage sightseers to come back to their town when the pandemic ends. And to that end, given that tourism is kind of a vital industry for that town, um, also, I must say as well, I, I, I started having a chat on Twitter with someone else from New Zealand and immediately realized my own hypocrisy. Um, New Zealand, is, well, I think everywhere in the world does this, but New Zealand does this a lot, uh, you know, that desperately trying to attract any attention or town pride or tourism by just building a big thing. Um, I lived near a town called Olakuni that had uh, the biggest uh, carrot uh, statue in the world, or at least that's what they claim. It's only 7.8 meters high. It's not actually very high. Um, but they have a big carrot, you know, so I, you know, every town in New Zealand has a big something. And I, 20 minutes south was Tai Happy, which has a big gumboot, which they built just after I left, uh, the gumboot capital of the world. Um, so, you know, um, New Zealand up and down does stuff like this. And, and I must say, the, uh, the artisanship of the squid is actually quite impressive. And hell, I would like to go and see it and take a photo of it as a tourist attraction. Yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, a, a giant squid. I would go and see that. So I was probably being a little bit, I was more venting about the general state of money politics in Japan and, and tax waste. Um, the squid itself is actually pretty cool. And Noto I hear is lovely. And I would like to go see there and take a photo with the squid. But it's kind of like not now giant squid. You know, if there are people, <laughs> when you have um, a desperate need to pay doctors to treat people who are dying and, and and running out of hospital beds in Osaka, it does feel like money is being spent in the wrong places. So it's a it's a bad look at a sensitive time. But um, that said, it is kind of cool. So I don't know. I don't know what, what you all think, but uh, that's what I thought about that one. Back into the comments. Does a squid have a name? Squiddy McSquid face. Oh, that would be what I would pick. Um, yes, too soon, giant squid, too soon. 